Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss the separation and recovery of rare earth elements using membrane surround extraction or supported liquid membrane. What are rare earth elements? Rare earth elements are 17 elements in the periodic table which includes the lanthanides. Those rare earth elements include neodymium, praseodymium, dysprosium, terbium, among others. Those rare earth elements are widely used in clean energy technologies, including cell phone, hard drive, electric car, wind turbine, and defense systems. Although the rare earth elements are used in all clean energy technologies across the globe, the majority of rare earth elements are produced in China. And also, because of the electrification and decarbonization, the demand of rare earth is exponentially growing, but the supply is limited. These rare earth elements support products and technologies worth of more than $300 billion of economic output and more than 600,000 jobs in the North America. At present, basically, there are huge demand for rare earth elements. And those rare earth elements could not only be uh, mined, but they could be also extracted and separated from those end of life devices such as electronic uh, waste. So in, in the US in 2014, more than 7 million tons of electronics waste was generated, which contains more than 2000 tons of rare earth. So they could be a good source for rare earth elements. So to address the challenge, uh, we have developed a novel membrane solvent extraction process or supported liquid membrane. In this process, in the membrane pores, a rare earth selective extractant is embedded. So if we have a feed solution which contains rare earth and non-rare earth, it could go, let's say, the one side, let's say lumen side of the hollow fibers where through the shell side a strip solution could be passed through it and through the pores the rare earth element could be selectively extracted and the non-rare earth will remain behind it. So this membrane surround extraction or MSX is a single step continuous process. It's a modular, modular as a result it allows linear scale up and it uses lower chemical usage and waste generation and low energy consumption, and low capital and operating cost. So in general, if you have a, let's say, a end of life device such as hard drive or a end of life electric car motor, they can be shredded into small pebbles of scrap magnets and those magnets could be dissolved in acid and after dissolving in acid, we call it a feed solution which contains rare earth and non-rare earth such as iron, aluminum, boron. And this feed solution can pass through a membrane where through the membrane rare earth could be extracted to a receiving solution or product and that could be precipitated out to produce a product or rare earth oxide. So the chemistry involves is that when a magnet is dissolved in an acid such as nitric acid, it forms a nitrate complex. And then this nitrate complex reacts with an extractant and it forms a complex. And that complex basically uh, do the separation. And then in the product stream that the rare earth it is reacted with oxalic acid to produce a precipitate of rare earth oxalate. And then this oxalate is annealed in air to produce rare earth oxide. So we use a very highly selective ligand or organic compound. This is called tetraoctyl diglycol amide, and it forms a coordination chemistry or forms a complex using coordination chemistry with the rare earth and which is reversible, which works based on the pH. So this is an enhancing mechanism. So in the membrane selection depends on various uh, conditions such as the weightability of the organic membrane by the organic phase and the stability of the um, 
hollow fibers in this acidic condition and its poor structure and high surface area with small footprint so the smaller the pore the higher the capillary force uh, which is better for uh, the process so in the membrane solution extraction the way the mechanism works is that let's say it has a feed solution which contains not only rare earth but also iron boron aluminum the nitrate then this feed solution goes to the interface of the membrane uh, pores where the membrane pores contains the extractant so this extractant reacts with the rare earth to form a complex by the coordination chemistry and due to the concentration gradient the complex moves from the feed side to the strip side or receiving side however we maintain a different ph as the result that the dissociation reaction happens so it dissociates the rare earth and the extractant goes back to the feed side due to the concentration gradient so as a result the separation uh, occurs continuously until full recovery is achieved so it's not limited to equilibrium so uh, this process is co also called co-current carrier facilitated transport mechanism using this process we have successfully showed that the rare earth elements could be separated from various feed stock uh, via devices including computer hard drive or electric car and we showed that the purity of the rare earth oxide recovered greater than 99.5% with recovery or yield is greater than 95% so membrane surround extraction or supported liquid membrane it is a versatile technology thank you